This is our first time of doing a startup week. Uh, we've done different pieces of it in the past, but never pulled it all together to really concentrate and, and show off what we have here in the region. Day three of Startup Week presents a room with some people any entrepreneur would want to meet. Um, just really, really good companies that are focusing on scale um, and companies that want to impact the world. Take Christian Johnson. While most in the crowd want to show off or talk up their big idea, Johnson's company, Multipass Ventures, wants to give them money. He's that ever elusive investor. The thing is like, with venture capital and like the investing community, a lot of deals are getting later and later and bigger and bigger. Um, there's not enough um, really early stage deals that are happening in the investing community here in St. Louis. And I want to be a part of like really doing that. So actually I created a pre-seed fund to very, very much invest at an earlier age, or earlier stage. Um, it's a little bit of a riskier, it's riskier capital, but it's the most important type of capital. Here's another guy Startup Week's kickoff event brought out, the man who runs the entire United States Patent and Trademark Office. St. Louis is building one of the country's fastest growing startup cities. Andre Yanku is an undersecretary of commerce who sees a startup event in St. Louis as a perfect fit into the big picture of economic growth. So the more events like this, the more innovation centers like the one here in St. Louis, the more of these that we see, the better for the United States. So this is really phenomenal to see. And while this place is filled with seasoned entrepreneurs, there's also a glimpse into the future, the next generation. Students from across the region taking part in Science Coach. The group is teaching teachers to work with the best and the brightest. We provide the fuel that really, and the infrastructure that really supports teachers who work directly with students to uh, create independent, innovative research. If those ideas actually have commercialization potential, we then also help support them to turn that idea into an entrepreneurship opportunity. It's almost surreal. Yes, these students are getting a chance to pitch to folks in the room, including the bigwig from DC. Through my experiment, I supported the fact that LED headlights cause drivers to have temporary vision impairments. One of the applications that I would suggest is adding a ledge to the top of the headlight that would cast the light downward and outward instead of it being a straight beam that will go into the eyes of the drivers. We need the next generation of inventors, of entrepreneurs, to, uh, to be excited about it and to, uh, and, and to start participating and to see them doing this at such a young age is fantastic. Startup Week is about those innovative ideas and growing this community that still has room to flourish, providing a buzz for everyone else to feed off of. I love the energy and I love talking to the entrepreneurs because you can't help but walk away inspired by what they do and taking a renewed sense of energy back to your day job and whatever you're doing.